A 26-year-old female patient complains of discolored teeth in total examination reveals generalized intrinsic tetracycline stain. Which of the following is an effective and aesthetic treatment in this case? The options are given and uh, we can see there is grayish pigment that is very much visible okay, on the two and these are basically your tetracycline stains and although most of the crown is grayish but here you will see further more darker bands here and these are uh, grayish brown in nature. So we will be coming to this. Before that I should explain about the stains. So the stains can be intrinsic or these can be extrinsic. Now the stains that that get incorporated inside the enamel or inside the tooth during the development of the tooth okay these are known as intrinsic that means these are the internal stains right now what are the extrinsic stains extrinsic are which are acquired from outside and they form a layer on the surface of the tooth right layer on surface of tooth these are the extrinsic stains so intrinsic stain the examples can be fluorosis the stain of the fluorosis or the stains of tetracycline tetracycline stains right now uh, the extrinsic stain further can be uh, classified with the most popular uh, classification of the extrinsic stain that is nathu nathu's classification so according to the nathu's classification stain are categorized into n1 n2 and n3 three categories in n1 the colored material binds to the tooth surface and the color of the chromosome that means the colored material which is bound is similar to that of dental stain so basically the chromosome that is the colored material that is bounding on the surface of the tooth is similar to the color of stain now According to N2, colored material changes color after binding to the tooth. So, chromogen is there and even the, and this is colored of course and the stain is also covered, colored but the color changes means the color of stain is different than that of the chromogen. Then you have the N3 that is the colorless material actually, colorless material generally binds to the surface of the teeth and stains are formed which are colored right so there is a chemical change in the nature of the color right or the material that binds on the surface of the tooth and undergoes a chemical reaction to cause a stain now the n3 type of stains are caused by carbohydrate rich food for example apples potatoes then stannous fluoride and chlorhexidine. So these are the stains which are N3 type means the colorless material is binding on the surface of the tooth and there occurs a chemical reaction that leads to the staining of the teeth. Now I would focus on the classification of the tetracycline. So the tetracycline screen are basically clinically divided into four categories first degree there will be light yellow or light grayish color okay and the treatment is we can use the vital bleeding and that provides good result then we have the second degree that is darker than the first degree or more extensive yellow or there can be grey staining without bending so you won't see the bands here right and it can be treated with vital bleaching but it takes more sessions so more rounds of the uh, vital bleachings are required for this then we have the third degree there will be severe staining that is characterized by gray or bluish discoloration and there will be bending as well now yes there will be vital bind, uh, bleaching that can be done but that simply lightens the discoloration but doesn't give a satisfactory result so you can go with the veneers with opacers are uh, the treatment of the choice then we have the fourth that is the most severe one the stains that too dark for bleaching and don't follow one of the previous categories 
So here we can use veneers with the opacus, but the best treatment is going to be full coverage crown if staining is too dark. So if we go back to the question here and we try to understand here, you will be seeing the bending here. There is grayish discoloration and when you put veneers also, there are chances that it will not give the satisfactory result because of the darkness of this stain and that's why the full coverage crowns are the treatment of choice in this kind of stains. So answer is going to be the full veneer, sorry the full coverage crowns although bleaching can be done, intracoronal bleaching gives better result than the extra coronal bleaching right and then veneers are better than the bleaching. But yes, the best treatment is full coverage count. The answer 4 is going to be the correct answer here.